but any kind of sport, any boxing, UFC, I'm just like, oh, God. I'm like at the edge of my seat. I can't. I can't even enjoy That's it. Punchy Chris. Yeah, he goes for triple G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the gym. We are going to hit an upper body workout today. I'm excited. Um, where's my stuff? I'm going to take some Legend today because I've been switching off from Legend, from Burn to Legend just because I feel like, um, here's my Legend. Um, I'm going to take the sour, not the sour, but the Bubblicious Lightning Lemonade. But I was switching from Burn to Legend just because recently I feel like I just kind of got used to the burn, and I took started taking Legend like two weeks ago again, um, and I like it. It gives me like a really good like push in the gym. So I'm gonna take a scoop of this. I don't think I'm gonna take any pump. Did you already take pre workout? No, I got that. I had a coffee, but I'm still gonna take this. And Chris gonna take this and some pump. I already, I already got some. Oh, all right, and then You're we're the gonna only get. One taking that. I'm the only one taking it. <laughs> all right, right now, and then we're gonna get our workout in. I'm excited. Where you been? <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been everywhere, huh? Uh, I've been everywhere, guys. I had my birthday. I got sick for ten days, and I went to Chicago for two days. And I missed you guys. I was like, okay, it's time for me to vlog because I missed you guys. So I'll probably catch you guys up. I don't really feel it. I don't really like. There's nothing much to catch up on. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, so I'll catch you guys up. Like towards the end of the vlog, but oh yeah. If you watch the podcast, you don't have to catch up. Yeah, if you watch the podcast, you don't have to catch up. Well, with this thing, yeah, you have to catch like up. You want to get like three things in there, so. Yeah, that's true. It's like fifteen dollars, dude. Live in Hoenn. <laughs> Are you getting that? Uh, so I like been like if ladies, I'm sure you guys watch TikToks all the time, and there's like, do your nails. It's so easy. Like so, I told Chris, I was like, oh, should I start doing my nails? I'm like, I could save some money. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, first of all, you don't even have the time of day. Like, <laughs> can you just like, you act like you can't go and thankfully like you can afford getting your nails done. But it's not that, it's like, guys, I got these nails done. Like I did the French with the Chrome Effect, like Hallie Bieber, Haley Bieber, Haley, Haley Bieber. And they charged me like $15 just for the Chrome Effect, which was literally like, she grabbed the sponge, dipped it in the powder and just went like that. Literally. It's technique, it's all technique. I don't know, but I paid like, I paid $120 for these, $120, and they last like three weeks, and it's just like, that's my one thing that I, I love getting my nails done, but I hate paying for it. Uh -huh. It's my one thing. I hate when I get my nails done, my toes done, and I'm like, that's $200. No, fucking, it hurts. I'm like, ugh. And your nails only last like two weeks. Yeah, so. well, yours only last like two weeks. That's true. She's the queen of nails, guys. She gets all these nice, like, show me your nails. Oh my god, I wish. Do you have a picture of the Bad Bunny ones or no? Oh yeah. She got her nails done for the Bad Bunny concert, Are they guys. The same? Oh my god. Huh? No, but th I'm about to blow your Instagram tag. No, no yeah, no, no tagging, please. <laughs> no freak out on this channel. Uh, no freak out. <laughs> Baby, I got when you feel like falling. I'll be there. clip my arms are so tired my like, my shoulders i was like pressing the clip <laughs> to put it on all right guys we are done with today's workout super good workout shoulder workout um i haven't sh trained shoulders in like two weeks i'm starting to get back into training shoulders again um i still have like a little pinch on my left shoulder that's the one that always gives me trouble but we're working through it um i just want to get better with my shoulder i actually like um transitioned a lot of my programming now back to like uh actually progressive overload in the gym. I just feel like I was going through like a funk and I wasn't like really focused on, I was going to the gym to train for calories versus purpose. And now I'm training per, for, for purpose. And I love that solid training. I think mixing spin with training was just a lot on my body because I was doing it five times a week. I was spinning five times a week, training five times a week. So it was a lot on my body. So now I just scaled back spin. I did spin once this week. Um, I'm barely getting back in because I was sick for like 10 days, guys, so I'm barely getting back into it. But I've just scaled everything back as far as cardio goes and really prioritized my lifting, and I feel a lot better. I feel like my body feels a lot better. So just catching you guys up on that. Yeah, workout was good. Now we're probably going to go get some food because it's already like 3.15. I'm hungry. And then see what the rest of the day looks like. So catch you guys later. Hey, how much are those little shelves? They're all tables that they put everything on. <laughs> how much are those tables? I'm <laughs> just Skip.
spooky. Here, you can find us in our natural habitats. Seriously, Chris is gonna fall asleep right now. <laughs> he's just chilling in the. He's gonna, he's gonna, close the movie. It looks like you. It looks like you. You see, they all have hair. Oh my god, it does look a little like Britney. No. Trying to find my husband. In the dining room table, but I was just telling you it looks different. He's always asking, where are you gonna put it? If there's no place, hey, but don't get. An answer. I know I'm telling her this. This lasted. Fendi, oh, wrong way. oh, a while, and she loves it. This one? Yeah. Let me see how much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, I gotta get him something. A pugged and spice latte. Babe? Yeah, baby, you know how... You gotta give me some context. Okay, baby, you know how we have that middle pillow that's like that, yeah. sand color? Yeah. I have the other two. Yeah. Do you think it would match? No, 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 I'll replace the two side ones with the browns so they match. And then this in the front? She's all right, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta change the I gotta get all the new pillows, man. Good night like this? Okay. Hey Jazzy, Chris found a new boo. Oh my god, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible actress. If we could span the camera to Chris. Uh, <laughs> this is not. That's not. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> How are we gonna get hit? Who made this? What student made this? You need a spanking. Hello guys, happy Tuesday. So um, I was gonna record for you guys yesterday, but some plans changed, so I'm recording for you guys now. Just got home from the gym, had my ghost protein shake and some oatmeal as my pre, not pre-workout, post-workout meal. Um, I'm honestly very exhausted. Our, our workout today was tough. It was upper body again and I did some cardio, so tough. But there's a new addition to the family coming very soon in like three minutes so we wanted to record it for you guys this has been to be honest a dream come true um mainly for chris for us but for chris this has been a dream come true and a very unexpected dream come true because uh you know we weren't expecting or like had a game plan as to when we were going to get this car but things have kind of fallen into place um if you guys remember a few months back we recorded that we were gonna get the Corvette Z06. Well, because you know COVID and everything as lovely as it is has backtracked everything, that has kind of not fallen through, but the wait list is still like another two years. So um, even though Chris is actually, his allocation here in Houston was like, he was like number nine, he's still having to wait another two years for, at that point it's gonna be another Corvette. So. That fell through, so we were counting on you know having that car and then moving steps up, but um, it's not gonna happen. So um, if you guys know, Chris has the had the Mercedes GTR and GTS, sorry, and um, we had that. The game plan was to keep that, then have he's here. The game plan Hello. was to keep that. Let me make sure the camera, uh, yes, you can see my face. Yes. The game plan was, oh my gosh, it's here, to have the GTS for um, just a short amount of time, trade it in or sell it, have the Z06, flip it, and then get this car that we are getting right now delivered. But because of how everything's worked out with the Corvette not coming in for another two, three years and it not being a car we actually want. Um, Chris was just like, you know what, fuck it. It is what it is. We'll, we'll flip it then in three years. But for now, let's see what our other options are. And somehow this man magically works. He found this car, so his dream car. Um, and so we sold the Mercedes uh, GTS and now we're getting this car. And he's, guys, he hasn't been able to sleep in like two days. And I'm really, really excited. It was my birthday wish to get this car, to really make it happen for him. Because at that point, we didn't know. Um, and we're really excited. So here we go. What's in there, guys? What's in there, guys? Oh, God, I'm so ready. Are you excited? Yep.
Oh, you like it here? Mm. How do you like it? So All right, far? so so far, you know, no big impressions other than just visual. Visually, I love it. It has everything that I wanted in a in a spec for a GT3, except the outside. The outside, you know, I, black is never a car color that I would choose. But we're gonna wrap it soon eventually. So we'll see. Let's see what uh. It sounds good, but I wanted more, more like, uh, like more, more pull. More yeah. pull, yeah. Like the the GTS had a really good pull. Yeah, it had a this this should have more webbles than the GTS. We'll just turn back around because it's nighttime. I don't want to drive too much, but. Yeah. I get in this car with him because I love him. If not, my grandma ass would not be going that fast. It's a different color. I yeah, like this. This is cute. I know. I like it. All right, guys. So that is the car. It's a what year is it, baby? 2018. <coughs> 2018 Porsche GT3. So it is a huge accomplishment for us to be able to get that car. Um, with how the market is and everything, it's been ridiculous, but. We have just general, honestly just been so blessed and I'm just so grateful to God and to all of you who support me and you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without the support from everyone that I've gotten, um, from all the people around me, from all the people I've met in my life, um, from all the growing pains, because trust me, there's been a lot, um, especially this year, but... <sighs> I know guys like, and I'm talking to you girls because with YouTube, you guys can get a little bit more personal with me. <clears throat> I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot of people who doubt me and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like, you know, oh, they have what they have because of their OF or whatever. But although part, part of that is true, right? We make the income we make because of that. Um, we also have made major steps in our lives to be where we're at right now. We have researched a shit ton to be where we're at right now. We have worked really hard to be where we're at right now. <clears throat> you can start OnlyFans and not ne make nearly as much as I am. Why? Because I do my fucking work. I do my research. I make sure that everything I do, I do to the best of my ability. What we do is the best of our ability. And you can hand someone the same shit that I do, but they wouldn't be able to come out with the same result. So people can say what they want to say about me, about Chris, about our non-traditional route, but I am just so beyond grateful for where we're at. I am extremely happy with who we are, um, as a, who, are we, who we are independently, who we are as a couple. And I'm just really, really grateful for everything we have. <clears throat> to be honest, like, I don't, I don't need anymore, right? I'm very happy with the life that we have. We, 
everything extra we have is truly, truly a blessing. And that does not mean that I don't want more out of my life. You know, I still want to travel. Like I, you know, I love things. I love, you know, going to nice dinners. I love handbags. You know, I love the good things, but I don't need them. I am grateful that I have them. And this year, if, if anything, I've just learned to really, I've always been grateful, but to really show gratitude to everything that we have. Um, and if you guys watch the podcast, you guys know, or listen to the podcast, um, I give you guys a little bit of insight of in my life. I know that it's been like a month since I've been on here on YouTube and, and caught you guys up with everything. I had my birthday, which was amazing. Um, we had an amazing week for my birthday. And then I got really sick for like 10 days. I caught a fl really bad flu. And then um, it's, I've been just playing catch up the last week and a half, um, but I missed you guys. I really did. And um, when I don't do YouTube videos, I feel like I can't share all bits and parts of me because with, you know, social media is so hard to truly show who you are. Um, the podcast is, has been an amazing outlet for me. I am so grateful for the podcast and I'm so grateful that I started that journey because um, that is my true love. I love doing it. I don't get anything out of it. I just love what I do. And um, actually I do get something out of it. I get all the positive messages that you guys give me every single time that I post a podcast and it is amazing. <clears throat> I will say that, you know, I do get hate on TikTok because TikTok is a platform where people don't get to know you, but through Instagram and the actual platform of podcast, the, the support that I get from you guys is just amazing. And I'm just so very grateful. I'm very grateful for all of you who, watch my youtube because whether or not you're here to hate and to just fucking look to see what we're up to um you know it's still support you, st you still gave me a view but for all the other ones who all my loyal supporters i genuinely appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart and if i could do anything for you guys just let me know because i'm just really grateful um but yeah i just wanted to catch you guys up life's been good it has been busy um, I'm going to Jan Georgia to visit family this upcoming weekend and I'm so excited to just, you know, be with them. And then I start a really hardcore cut. So you guys will be part of that journey because I'm going to be recording for you guys um, at least once a week. So you guys, the YouTube videos will be coming up and uh, I'm excited to just share my journey with you guys on this cut because I have um, the expo, the Olympia expo coming up and I just really want to cut for that. So uh, just grateful uh, for you guys and I really want to take you guys through that journey with me. Anything you want to say, puppy? <laughs> Keep buying the nudes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Babe, I'm over here fucking delivering a motivational speech and you're over here. It's not the nudes, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we do get a lot of hate mm -hmm. and you know, what we do is very <laughs> untraditional. But you guys also don't take into account everything we do outside of OnlyFans. And the ones that have supported us for a while know that we have a lot going on we have our online training business we have no evil which is a clothing and jewelry company she has all her sponsorships and modeling contracts whatever you want to call them and then we still have outside investments as well all some most of which are six-figure businesses on their own already so yes only fans helps but that is not the only reason yeah. we have why we have what we have but we appreciate the support in everything that we do and hopefully you keep uh, supporting, supporting us in all our future endeavors. Yeah, so, yeah. So now I'm gonna go outside and mess with the car. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, uh, yeah, just wanted to catch you guys up. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard, I, will not, I won't say it's easy to share my life with you guys because you never know what kind of energy, if I learned anything this year is like just being, aware of the energy that people give off and i hope that even though you're watching me through youtube i'm getting a good energy vibe from you guys and not a, a, a negative vibe because i you know it it sucks when you're around that kind of stuff but um i am <laughs> with my mexican roots you know i believe a lot in that stuff but i'm just i know if you're watching uh you know you guys are supporters and i love you guys and i just really appreciate you guys so that is it for the YouTube video, this one. Um, please comment down below what you wanna see with the cut that I'm gonna be doing. Do you guys like enjoy the, the workout edits? Do you guys enjoy the the day in life with Jazzy? What do you guys wanna see? What do you, what do you girls wanna see? Do you guys wanna see an updated makeup routine? I can totally make that for you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see from me and I will do my best to 
at least put it out before um, December. Um, so I got you. All right, guys, don't forget to keep supporting with the podcast, supporting with Dark Sport, supporting with Ghost, whatever it may be, OF, if you're watching, dudes. And yeah, whatever it is, online training, I love you girls. Also, I will be starting a challenge on October 3rd, by the way. So um, it's a fitness challenge. Um, it's a six week challenge. First place winner gets $1,000. So be on the lookout on my Instagram for that. If you guys have any questions, DM me because spots will fill up for that. Um, and I'm excited to start this challenge because I'm kicking ass for the next like 10 weeks. My friends are kicking ass that they started this challenge too. And so they're really excited to just, you know, take their training up a launch and their diet and everything. So if you want to join the challenge, DM me, but keep in, keep in, Keep an eye out for my Instagram posts and my Instagram stories. So, all right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.